Hi, I'm John Treadaway, editor of Miniature Wargames magazine, published by Warners. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the games I'm involved with. Um, the first game I'm going to talk about here is Hammer's Slammers. Now, this is a game, it's something I started development work on in the last millennium, so before the turn of the century. Um, the rules are based on some hard science fiction books by noted author David Drake, and they're often described as Vietnam in space. That's rather an oversimplification, but since I've used it myself on numerous occasions, I shouldn't really complain. It's set in a future where humans, for the most part, are colonising and exploring the galaxy and their inevitable arguments and conflicts over the usual you know, sticking points of resources, land, politics and religion are dealt with via conflict. These wars are often settled by highly paid mercenaries and the eponymous Hammers Slammers is one such group of mercenary soldiers. In the early 2000s, I teamed up with an author called John Lancet and we wrote a book that helped people uh, understand David Drake's work and play our game system based on those, those works. Since then, I've carried the torch somewhat and have developed them to the point where in 2010, I wrote a new volume of the rules called, called The Crucible. Sorry, have one here. Um, and that, along with, with a website that I maintain, uh, which contains a lot of free to download supplements, five whole supplements and lots of support material dedicated to this. Plus there's a, a Facebook page, as there always is nowadays, uh, full of the usual stuff, people's interest. And this has laid the groundwork for several articles and scenarios that I've detailed over the years in miniature war games, and regular readers of the magazine will have seen those. The rules uh, use a simple system of D6 for combat, D6s in case you are unfamiliar with the concept, and just D6s, these are my casino dice, so I have no excuses for poor dice rolling. It uses a system of leadership points, uh, which is generated by a combination of the command quality of the group, the company that you're running, and the quality of the troops in that company. Some have low quality troops, good commanders, some have good quality troops, not so good commanders. The heroes of the stories, the slammers, not surprisingly, have elite quality troops and elite quality commanders. Uh, this leadership system, um, it attempts to represent how much command is expended to get troops to manoeuvre and fight and do some other things. The more you want them to achieve, or the harder the task is that you want them to achieve, the more leadership, the more command points need to be expended. When I'm showing people the gun, uh, as I have done over the last 10 years, uh, I always say, imagine that you, as a commander, Imagine that you're shouting at your troops on the radio. Some things are easy. Some things, like telling troops to fight, they don't need commands at all. You've already trained them, they know how to fire. They don't need help with that, they'll fire anyway. But other things, commands like move faster or fire faster, fire lots, fire and don't miss that enormous tank at the end of the street. Specific stuff like that, you need to expend leadership. You need to do some shouting down the radio to carry on that analogy. And as a battle progresses and chaos mounts, uh, and chaos is usually represented by you losing units, as chaos mounts and units are lost, your command's ability to stay in charge is reduced because the leadership points you have available are reduced. Play is based on a one-to-one -one system. Each vehicle, of which I have an example here, or each stand of infantry, 
rally represent exactly what you see. Some figures, a group, um, a vehicle. They're all called TUs, tactical units, but that's just a way of categorising them. But it's exactly what you see. Also, unusually for a gun like this, the ranges are very effective. Uh, in gun terms, they can be infinite. Uh, I've certainly played guns, we played a game a few years ago, where units were firing 36 feet down the length of an enormous table, much to the surprise of many of the gunners playing. If you can see it, you can hit it. If you're lucky, get a good dice roll. The games are bloody and unforgiving. Some of them will be quite quick. But it's a satisfying system and it covers command, uh, elite skills for specific commanders and special techniques that they may have developed, optional rules, on and off table artillery, missiles, infantry and vehicle combat, infantry combat against vehicles, infantry combat against other infantry. The models for this game are largely by brigade, brigade models in the UK. Uh, they also sell the rules. Um, the system has appeared, as I said in the magazine, uh, numerous times over the last decade. If you see us at a show, uh, we have planned to bring it to um, Tabletop Games Live, and on that basis, we intend to bring it to Tabletop Games Live 2021. Come along and have a go. Thank you.